Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. Before we jump back on the Disney dream, we are back home. Yes. This is going to be our recap of our first ever Disney cruise on the <laughs> Disney dream, Halloween yes. on the high seas. And I can tell you guys right now, we absolutely loved it. So before we go any further, let's hop right back on the Disney dream. Look at this. This is so calming. One last breakfast before we get off the Disney dream. Goodbye, Lobby Atrium. Goodbye, Disney dream. This was so much fun, but it's a very sad day. All right, and just like that, we have made it back to the parking garage. Going through customs and getting off the ship was very easy and very convenient. What a fun three days it was, and we cannot wait to sell with Disney Cruise Line once again. Welcome back. <laughs> so, as you guys can already tell, we really didn't film much on our fourth and final day just because we were pretty sad getting off yeah. that ship. And it was so funny that it was like an overcast when we came back to the port, like it was about to rain. And yeah. It was a sad day. <laughs> I can tell you guys, we just cannot wait to get back on a Disney cruise yeah. ship. Hopefully the fantasy, the wish, who knows what else. But I was so impressed. Just the service alone on DCL was just incredible. Like yeah. you get a lot in the parks, but then when you hop on a ship, it's just upped another notch. Yeah. And I will say like, if you're cruising and theme parks, it's two different experiences. Yes two different experiences like and you I can't stress compare them. that because if you haven't been on one do it now because the prices are affordable yes. right now do it then, now <laughs> than what they used to be <laughs> so one of the yeah. biggest questions i received now that all the videos have been released besides this one is yeah. dev where did you book this deal at i paid fifteen hundred dollars for a yeah. veranda room i booked it right through disney yeah. cruise line yeah. we booked it about a month and a half ago so that's why we really couldn't get as many reservations as we wanted to yeah which was fine but for booking it like that late in advance yeah. and still we scored a amazing deal Absolutely. like i told you guys pre-pandemic that's about the price of one person yeah. i could yeah. not pass that up i'm so happy we decided to go yeah because we were hesitant because of COVID. covid what they're doing is spectacular you have to be vaccinated and you have to get a COVID-19 test no matter what board and I think that's that's safer than going to your local grocery, grocery store, store. <laughs> or just going to Disney right now yeah. I mean just knowing that everybody on is vaccinated ship. yeah including crew members absolutely that, that was worth it on its own mm -hmm. now I was a little disappointed we did not get to experience the rainforest room yeah we never did we were on the waiting list we never got a phone call we were never told to come back which it's okay. I understand. I am not mad. I'm not upset. It's just, I guess I'm a little disappointed because I, I hear so many like, you have to do the rainforest room. <laughs> you have to do this. This is the we one thing though. you have to do. We will. But that's okay because we know we need to go back. I don't think you can book it in advance. You have yeah. to go right there yeah. as soon as you board. And by the time we got yeah. on the ship, it was gone. Or go to guest services or yeah. call from your room. Definitely. No reservations left. Make that reservation as soon as you get on. And right now they're doing it in, I believe, 90 minute blocks for yeah. your party up to 10 people. So if it Which was just nice. us. It'd be just me and you. We would just have it to ourselves for 90 minutes. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Pre-pandemic, everybody could go in there at one time. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of like how it is right now. Yeah, but I like absolutely. how everything is. And I can't believe I'm saying that. Like, I like the space yeah. i like the capacity i mm -hmm. think that that ship we were on was maybe 50 percent capacity. capacity it was not busy at all no, we had great. plenty of room there was always lounge chairs we didn't have available to, like, run in the morning to get a lounge chair it nope. was very relaxed that day at castaway key was both of our favorites yeah because yeah. we just had a beautiful time yeah. at that private island we love snorkeling so that was our favorite yes. thing <laughs> Yes, we were in the ocean for like an hour and a half oh just snorkeling. Goodness, you lose track of time in that water. <laughs> and and I, we were like deep out there. Yeah, we went we all like the way out. We were like past the lifeguard. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, where are they going? <laughs> and there are lifeguards out, so that's yeah. something else to keep in mind mm -hmm. that I really liked. And yeah, we love snorkeling. We got very sunburnt that day. Yes. But it if was worth it. If you notice in the video, like right here, I'm completely burnt. In my, my face. My chest, his face. I think we're good now. It's been yeah. about, a, uh, what's today? Sunday. So yes. It's been about a week. Been almost. about a week since we got off. I miss it so much. <laughs> Another common question that I received was, Dev, what's included? Was your food on Castaway Key included? 
Yes, the food on Castaway Key is included, just like every other food yeah. option is on the delicious. ship besides fine dining. Drinks are included. The only thing that's not included drink-wise is any alcohol you have yeah. to pay for and any premium coffee beverages you have to pay for. But you can still get a hot cup of coffee. That's included. But if you want any kind of like Cappuccino, cappuccinos, lattes, lattes, iced coffees, that's what you have to pay for. And then I did not know this. One of you guys told me in Cove <laughs> Cafe, the pastries are actually included. Oh, we didn't wow. know that. No. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Another thing that I was a little disappointed in was there was no more reservations to eat brunch at Paolo. Oh, I know that's yeah. like the thing to do, but that's next another time. reason why we just have to go back and we'll go next time. get a reservation in advance. Yeah. Paolo dinner was also completely booked, yeah. but there was a Remy dinner reservation, but I just heard not too many great things about that restaurant. Yeah. So. We decided to skip it, but <laughs> I really like the rotational dining. Yeah, um, really Animator's Palette, Enchanted Garden, and Royal Palace. I yeah. think Royal Palace was our favorite, yeah. and Animator's Palette was our least favorite. Yeah. I just kind of felt like a little uncomfortable in there just because like that's for kids. If <laughs> your daughter was with us, she would have oh, loved that. Loved if Absolutely. you guys have kids, I didn't really like the menu at Animator's Palette. The pork chop was really good though. Yeah, and the, the ship was very rocky that night. Like, yes. You can see our glasses shaking. Yes. And I'm not used to that. That You're was different. That. Yeah. That was a little different. Because yeah. on Mariner <laughs> of the Seas, we really we anything. experienced anything. But that, that first night, scary. it was a little rocky. And that was another question that I received a lot yeah. was like motion sickness. Just on the first night it was pretty rocky from the choppy water but other than yes. that it was smooth sailing. But keep in mind um, the restaurants are like on deck three and deck two which are mm, pretty low, low to the water yeah. or close to the water so that could be I the reason. Yeah. But when we were in our stateroom or on deck 11. No we never felt We it. never felt anything. Yeah. So keep in mind everybody <laughs> is different when it comes to motion sickness or Intrusive. seasick. Yeah. So if you have not been on a Disney cruise or just a cruise in general, do one, judge it for yourself. But I feel like everybody yeah. in their lifetime must go on a Disney <laughs> cruise at least once. Yes. You'll thank me later. And just to experience Castaway Key. Alone. Because That's it's worth spectacular it. and they have it like roped off sections so that you do feel safe while snorkeling. I didn't yeah. experience that in Coco Cay. They didn't have that, did they? They had snorkeling, but it wasn't like blocked off like disney yeah, was. yeah i liked it because i felt safe the that was stingrays so cute. We that last stingray, stingray was massive yeah he had a barb yeah i kept thinking oh my god it was so cute but it was they're just, harmless oh i could snorkel all day <laughs> that was like my favorite hobby to yeah, do mine too. and i really enjoy that we still need to go to discovery cove by the yes. way yes oh my goodness so stay tuned for that let's talk about our favorite thing that we Ever. did on the cruise and that was a spa treatment at census yes I mean, it was spectacular for that price and with everything you get, with the exceptional service, with the views you're getting of the water, with the ambiance, the music. It was amazing. I highly recommend. We we were so calm after yeah, that experience. Yeah. And that, you know, for the rest of the trip, that's how we where we were calm. And it's kind of funny because I I noticed a few comments saying, "Wow, you guys looked so relaxed, relaxed. after that." It massage. was because of that massage. It was because we had so much stress leading into the cruise. Well, yeah, because, because we were worried we were, about our negative, like if we come back positive yeah. alone, and we're like, oh, what, what do we do? What do we do? And then also for the simple fact, this was our first DCL cruise. We were very so overwhelmed. We were so overwhelmed and stressed out, and I was like, oh gosh, I just because we were only on on ship for like three, three days. days. So take that in mind as well. We wanted to like vacation, which we did. <laughs> I, I, but you want to make the most out of yeah, your vacation yeah. in the three. Days. I think I did a really good job of like showing you guys what you guys need to see and yeah. then putting the camera down and yeah. vacationing because yeah. this was our vacation and yeah. we loved every single minute. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> wait to go back on a Disney cruise ship. I mean, I we've already been camera. looking. I want to do the fantasy. I want to do the yeah. wish. I want to do the we'll Alaskan the cruise. Yeah. Oh, we will definitely, which next year. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> We're going on the wish. I guess the last thing that I wanted to talk about and bring up is comparing Disney Cruise Line to the Disney parks. And there's really no comparison. I mean, yeah, you get characters. Yeah, you get the exceptional Disney service. But right now, just my personal opinion, I would spend my hard-earned money yeah. on cruising with Disney and not going to the theme parks. Yeah. Just because... 
there's so much going on inside of the theme parks right now. Especially with with Genie. Genie, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh! Why Woo, do you, why do you want Jeannie, to, that's why, do you why want to we were so with stressed. That on your phone while you're on your trip, <laughs> go on the cruise, experience it for yourself. What he's saying, he's spot on. You're gonna relax. That's what you want to do. On and vacation, disconnect. Right? Disconnect. We didn't. We weren't on our phones at all. Well, I mean, we had to get on our phone just to like to go navigate, to the, the to navigator navigate app through the app. But we agree. wasn't like glued yeah. to our cell phones. No. And. You know, you have to disconnect nowadays from your phone, from social media, yeah. and you get that with cruising. And <laughs> yeah, I just, it, I know a few of you guys asked me that, and right now, if you're on the fence, I would just, I would take Book a Disney cruise. cruise any day of the week. Yeah. There's, right now, the parks are just messy, and I hate saying that, but you guys know me. I keep it real, and I keep it honest, and right now, the parks are very messy, Even, and there's a yeah. lot going yeah. on. Cruising. Even all the all four parks are like that. Right. And cruising, it's just it's a breeze, and you're it's you're just forced right, to relax. Especially right now, where the capacity is lower than before. Because next year, I I think it's going to go right back to normal, and maybe. And this month, November eighth, I believe, guests from Europe can now come back to the state. So I think Take that uh, in, keep that in mind. Yeah, keep that in mind. I just think. Low capacity nowadays, it's a thing of the Slim past. <laughs> what was one of your highlights from the cruise? So I really thoroughly enjoyed watching Beauty and the Beast. And you know what's funny is we sat down, we're waiting the 20 minutes before mm -hmm. the show starts. And on the intercom, the lady's like, you know, this is an hour and 15 experience. And I looked at Zev and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's a long this show. is like a real Broadway. Yeah. I thought we were going to be watching something like that's at Hollywood Studios. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's like no. breaking down to like 20 minutes. No, this so is a I was like, full oh Broadway my show. Goodness. Okay, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if you like it. I loved it. The yeah. Broadway was amazing. The singing, the actors. Oh my gosh, you've got to watch that when you're on the cruise. It's amazing. I agree. But before we let you guys go, we want to do our Little Disney Cruise Line haul, haul or yeah. shopping haul of the things we got. We didn't get too much, but we got some really awesome things. You want to go first? So I started opening up this one that we bought and I started getting emotional just because, you know, it was such a beautiful experience. Um, it was. We got this ornament just to uh, remember our first Disney cruise. How beautiful. I'll be cruising. Yeah, this so was cute. a really good pickup. Really good find. And they wrapped it in tissue, so and yeah. we kept it safe. And this was twenty five ninety nine. My Disney Cruise Line hat. <laughs> this was one thing that I really wanted was a DCL hat. It's pretty basic, but I love <laughs> basic things where it's not too much. And also, we got this cute little Disney Cruise Line magnet frame with Mickey on it. Oh yeah, to go on our refrigerator. Yes. And how we're gonna cute. put a photo from Castaway Key. That's where we got it, on yeah. the island of Castaway Key. We did. The little gift shop. And then I got some pins. This one is from Castaway Key. And then I got one to remember the Disney dream. And then my last pin, just to remember the year that we cruised. <laughs> I love these little reusable bags. Look how cute. Yeah. I'll show you what we got. We got a few. We got a bigger <laughs> one, we medium, and then one from Castaway Key. So, and remember, the giveaway. These are for the giveaway. Look how beautiful. They're like a shiny royal blue. That's so gorgeous. If you guys haven't watched the video from Castaway Key, this is the giveaway item. I believe you still have a few days before I announce the giveaway winner. And I wish I could wear ears, but I can't anymore. They're just too small for my head. <laughs> they always were. And we did buy a surprise giveaway item <laughs> for one of my Patreon members. You guys will know more about this in a few days if you are a Patreon member. But and you get the cute bag. You do get the cute bag. There's some <laughs> fun goodies in there from our Disney Cruise Line vacation. And then we got a few shirts. This is Bianca's from Castaway, Castaway Key. Key. Yep. I love that color. You have Anya. to show yours, babe. Oh, yeah. Captain Mickey. Captain Mickey. So cute. Yeah, I love this shirt. <laughs> this is the only, like, shirts or, like, clothing we got off. Yeah. Because that's... They didn't really have, like, a lot. A lot of, like t-shirts and stuff yeah and finally i got this <laughs> the lanyard dcl lanyard to just keep my key to the world you need to have these when you're cruising yeah i you highly use recommend that one. little card everywhere you are and then i think on our next cruise we are officially silver, silver members so Yay. we get a lanyard and then <laughs> if you're gold and platinum and so on yeah we're still kind of getting used to yeah. the cruising language 
<laughs> but that is all of our merchandise that yes. we got from our cruise vacation and that's all that we have to talk about and discuss if you guys have any more questions about our vacation or disney cruise line or disney dream yeah. questions leave me a comment down below we'll try our best to answer all of them but i think we touched on the, pretty much everything yeah we cannot wait to go on another disney cruise vacation soon yeah. hopefully sooner rather than later yes because there's a lot of cruising and just a lot of <laughs> traveling that we want to do um to end this year and even heading into next year there's of a course. lot yeah. of traveling next year so thank you guys so much for watching please remember it's nice to be nice and youtube <laughs> we'll see you in the next video bianca and prince charming dev out. This video is sponsored by Mickey Travels. If you're looking to book your next Disney vacation, go get your free quote today from MickeyTravels.com as they never charge you anything to book your next Disney vacation. And they are one of the select few travel agencies in the world that are platinum earmarked by Disney themselves. Go visit my friends down in the description and click on the link for your next Disney vacation. I am feeling lonely in a morning and it's time to end the ride. They need to slowly over those can lift me up this time You were the only one who got me tripping up inside